Tim Keefe from MyBeatownLine.com here. Hey, be sure to like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the videos, either on Facebook or on YouTube, whatever it may be. Uh, Instagram, do all those little thumbs up things that you do. Help us out. We're trying to get more and more people to see this, so that way, not only will we make better football officials, but maybe we'll make better fans too. Is that possible? Who knows? So today we're on a part two of our football play of the week from last week. Like I said, it was going to take so long to uh, talk about this because so many things were happening, we had to break it up into parts. So the, today is going to be part two, and we're going to focus in on a block, the first real block of the series of, of trying to figure out how many potential illegal blocks there were on this play. So now we're going to look for our potential illegal blocks. So our first one I'd like to focus on is up here. It's uh, up here at the top of the screen. I want to focus in on that, that block. So here we go. So you see that. I don't know if you saw it or not. It was a quickie. It was, we'll go back to it. You'll see it looks like kind of a hook, maybe a grab and a tug possibly right there. We'll play it one more time and then we'll talk about it. Here it is. So you know where you're focusing now. So it's a little bit of a, a tug. You saw a jersey pull there. It was a jersey pull. So my question is, to everybody, would, or what I would want to examine first, is who's going to see that? Once again, I'm not saying that we're going to call this or not, but we'll, we'll ask everybody what they think. But right now, you know, you've got this official right here, which this would be your H in a five-person game or whoever, even in a seven. Somebody's got to catch that block. Now, they may have moved over here to point of attack, so then hopefully somebody over here can catch it because that is a, that's, that's something that needs to be uh, considered. Is it, uh, is it enough to call? Is it enough of a jersey pull? Is it going to you know, slow that runner, or I'm sorry, th 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 ah, slow that kicking player down to the point where they're not going to be able to tackle it, or was he out of the play? These are all questions we have to ask because it's not that much of a jersey tug but you can see the jersey tug on the film. So let's run on a panel real quick, because that's potential illegal block number one. I'll start out with Bill on this one. Bill, you saw a little jer jersey tug there. It's kind of backside. You know, if you were the referee in that position looking and you saw it come, would, would that be enough for you? No, sir, it would not be enough for me. Um, yeah, that's not where I want to draw the line in the sand and say that anything like that or worse is going to be a foul tonight. So uh, I'm not even sure to be a talk to. But no, I don't have a foul on that. Okay. And I'm, I'll jump to Robert real quick. Robert, you're the back judge. You're looking at this from over the top, let's say. Um, do you, and you see that jersey pull real quick like it was. Is that enough for you? I follow Bill's philosophy on that. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm definitely going after the safety fouls, and, uh, and I don't see a situation where I have a safety foul where I have to go and get it. Uh, I want to make it be there just like uh, this association's named after. That, that's important because we want it to be big. I personally would not have a foul on this, but somebody has to see it because that's the most important thing. We have to see engagements, and that's part of this presentation tonight is – breaking down the kickoff mechanics to see those engagements. So that was part two, part three coming tomorrow. You do want to make sure you're here to check that out. We'll move on to the next block because let me tell you, there's six parts to this. This is only part two, part three coming tomorrow. You wanna, don't want to miss anything, so make sure you subscribe. You get those alerts that you've got the new video and you're ready to go and you can catch part three tomorrow. Right here at MIBTOnline.com, I'm Tim Kiefer. We'll catch you then.